Kicking the Coaster. I'm your host Dale, and today we're going to be doing a, a little something that's uh, uh, it's kind of different. I'm actually going to be hitting some of my family heritage here with the Irish. We're going to be doing some Irish uh, cured salmon. I've got the, the salmon. I bought the salmon uh, at uh, a local supermarket. Now it doesn't have the skin on it. So usually when you do this, you put the skin side down. So, but I got it in the plate right here, and what did I got? Uh, one that's already in here, and I got two pieces right here. So I'm actually gonna do some different flavors uh, with curing this uh, the salmon. Now, you can do this uh, a day ahead of time, uh, up to uh, uh, 72 hours, a little bit longer. But the longer you let it sit, uh, the the um, the uh, texture and the color and everything is gonna change to it. So you have to be aware of that. So you have to go by what texture you want to go with it. For our curing agent, okay. I've got in, in the shot glass, I've got some smoked black pepper. Now, I smoke my own black pepper, so um, it's very good. Um, you can get it at stores. If you can't smoke it yourself, you can pick it up at the store, um, at some supermarkets or some specialty shops. But smoked black pepper is the best. So that's what's going to get that smoky flavor in this uh, on this fish. i got some um, uh, kosher salt, the, the uh, coarse kosher salt. Now, the calls for the Irish fresh piece calls for sugar, and you can use, a lot of, use the white sugar and stuff, but we're trying to keep it healthy. So I'm using the, the natural uh, Tornado sugar uh, for this. Okay, and then for some greens to lay on going, I got some actually a mixture of, uh, now the Irish like their dill, and, and some people love their dill with their, with their fish, but I'm gonna be using some, um, uh, some cilantro and some chives. So, uh, and they got a crust up, and I got about half and half in here, and that's going to go on, on the top of the fish, and then we coat in, it's going to add some flavor to it. Okay, now I do have some, some that's already been mixed up with some rugged so I'll be using this as well. We'll mix it all together as well um, for later on, uh, or when we start doing this dish. So, first thing I want to do is I want to uh, go ahead and add, oops, sorry, go ahead and add, um, the, uh, the sugar and the, the salt, the pepper, um, and um, yeah, and what we're going to do is we're actually going to mix this up really, really well. Okay, I got my spoon here, and just mix it up, and you're going to get nice and too. Got that smoky flavor already with and that salt. Like I said, I've got three pieces I'm going to do, and I'm going to do different flavors for uh, for each one. Now this one, I'm going to actually, I got some 100% some pure maple syrup, because a lot of people love, uh, uh, North love their maple syrup and other places, and so we're going to be using the maple syrup. Okay, so now i got a, a good chunk of this messed up in here, and mixed up, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it. And I'm just going to screw in it on just like that. Okay, what I did do to start with was what I should have done was I forgot Irish whiskey. And it's what I should have put on to start with. So I didn't do it on this one. But, okay, so I'm just going to squeeze some on here. And what that's going to do is going to allow that salt and um, that pepper to combine into that meat and soak into it and really, really uh, cure it out. So now what I'm gonna do is gonna add some of this right here. And I'm just gonna squish it real good and then add some of the cilantro and the, um, um, I've got the name of it already. Cilantro and chives. Well, thank you. Uh, so, yeah, my brain. So now, so that's the first one I'm gonna do. Now, once I get this in, and Jack, I see you supposed to coat it the first time and then take a brush and then brush it. And I forgot to do that. I'm gonna do the next one anyway. So, and then you put this stuff down and then you put the whiskey back on it again. Okay, so now what you do is we're gonna cover it up. And. Okay. Alrighty. What I'm gonna do for right now is sit this in this pan right here. 
So uh, we'll so we'll take this one. We'll put it in here. Okay. Now here's when we'll do it right. Okay. So I'm gonna take a little whiskey and put a nice generous helping on it here. Take the brush. Like I said, if you get the big piece of salmon with the skin on and everything, this is you take the brush and you just and you just brush the whole thing and make sure you get that get that whiskey all covered up. I'll do that. Now you take your salt, your pepper mixture with the your sugar, and you coat it. Okay, and once again, and there we go. Now we're going to take this one. Oh, I didn't use the maple syrup on that big new one. <laughs> I'll tell you, man, I am off my game tonight, and yeah, that's why uh, when Catherine's here, she got me, she got me, uh, got my game plan on going. So, um, all right, so. I ain't put the chives on it, but I just want to try it without the chives on this one. So I put this one here. So this is hard to work with. Put this other piece of salmon. And I want to, um, before I do anything, nice generous coat of Irish whiskey. I'm just going to pour a little bit of maple syrup. I'm going to close that lid. I'm just going to put just a little more of the Irish whiskey on here, take my brush, and I'm going to just coat it really, really well. Okay. All right. All right. Now, take my mixture once again, my seasoning. Put this on here. One I don't use, I got actually some more fish that I can do later on, so I'll put this in the container and use it for later. Now, I got all this left and there's no use wasting it. Just go ahead and just grind it up. Yes, yeah, nothing like some chives and some. Uh, actually, this is smelling good. You're getting that sweet with that smoky flavor. So, yeah. Yeah, yummy. Alright, now I'm going to put some more. Whiskey. Okay. And once again, I'm going to fold this over. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and add these three into this because it's already got another piece in here. Add this one to here. I'm just gonna make it pretty much even. And I got what we'll do is I got the thick ends on the outside because we're we'll gonna put this pan right here once we get this uh, back folded up and we're gonna put the pan over and squish it down some more. So alright, so let me go ahead and put this over, put this over, put that over, and put this back over now. Okay. Now what we're gonna do, because it will run out, so you want it in a deep in a dish. Um, this pretty deep to keep because when this stuff will start running out, you don't want to go all over the place. So we're gonna put it in the middle and we're gonna put uh, something, another pan on top of it. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna put some weight and I got a gallon jug that I'm gonna sit right on top of it. And uh, actually oh, speaking of which, <gasps> so and then well that, that'll sit there depending on how many days I want to cure the 24 hours to 72 hours. So, um, all right, we get this in the fridge. We'll be right back. And, uh, you saw us prepare uh, three pieces of salmon uh, to be uh, cured. Uh, so, what's it like when it's cured? Well, I'm glad you asked that question because right here I actually have a piece. Ah, yummy. So, yeah, so what I did was I took it, 
out of the pack and uh, washed all the salt and all the sugar and all the other stuff off of it. Okay, and then uh, what I did was uh, just put it some more. If you want chi uh, fresh chives, you can use fresh chives, you can use anything you want to, whatever you like. Dill, whatever. Now, the, 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 the Irish use the dill uh, and some other stuff, but actually, I like the chives and the cilantro on it, and um, so you get to give a little more flavor to it. So now was the time is to go ahead and uh, cut this, and then we're going to go ahead and fix our main dish. Okay, so um, we'll go ahead and use my uh, fillet knife. Now, like I said, with skin on, uh, your skin will be down. This, like I said, has no skin on it. So what we're going to do is just take it, and we're just going to, Tradition calls for thin slices, so you can sort of have you want to. I'm gonna to try to do it just, yeah, with the uh, with the thin slices on, it. and see how this turns out. And then we're gonna make our play here. So, first of all, let's go ahead and start the salad. I had the salad first, mate. Right, right. Yeah. So what we're gonna do before I start with salad. So I'm gonna take some some of this green salad here. Now this is a um, a, it's organic. Uh, it's got different types of lettuce and uh, some different things into it. Um, uh, I can't think of what chicory um, and some, I think some spinach and some, some rocket. Now, I do have some rocket here, some fresh baby rocket. I'm going to add some with it because I love rocket. If you don't know what rocket is, South, Carolina, uh, South Africa and, and overseas they call arugula rocket. So, so it's actually just arugula. arugula. So I actually love the arugula. It actually has got some in it. It's a little extra to it now. You can add whatever kind of greens you want to. That's what we're going to have right here. All right, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a tomato. I'm going to lay a tomato out. And then I've got beetroot. And I love beetroot. And so we're going to just make a little bitty. Um, Thing with the beef right here. I'm going to start the tomato. I'm going to put it on top. There we go. I think it looks good. And then we'll add some tomato to our arugula or to our uh, uh, salad. Depending on how much tomato you like. I like a lot of tomato. And then we're going to add some of this. Just right here for the time being. Now what I'm gonna do is slice this up and put it on top of each one. Okay, so we're gonna do some thin slices. Okay. Like I said, with the texture and everything, you can see the texture. I think I'm just gonna add to the very top of that. I'm not an artist when it comes to food, so you'll have to forgive me. Uh, some to the top of the salad here. Okay, one more piece. And put it down here. Now, set this aside. Now my sauce was kind of easy to make. All I did was take some, some mayonnaise and some sour cream and mix it together and add some different spices to it. Uh, now this one, on this particular uh, but that's because it's got uh, the Irish whiskey in it. I use just a couple drops of Irish whiskey uh, in it, and then some um, tarragon. So it's got it's got tarragon, the, the flavor, and then it's got some um, uh, that, that smoky pepper that's put in it with the uh, the salt. So and I'm just gonna spoon 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 it. Actually, there we go. There's my. Spoon it there. And then just okay. And I'm gonna take an arugula and some arugula. And like I said, it's not uh, yeah. got uh, smoked cured salmon on salad, the bed of uh, greens and some baby arugula and 
Like I said, I just different kind of greens. You got on some beetroot and uh, with some Roman tomatoes and your own sauce right here. Um, wow, uh, smells good. For myself and my beautiful wife, Catherine, thank you for watching Kicking and Kosher. Shalom.